Hello students, this is Mam Tin. Welcome back to my channel. So this morning, we will be discussing about photosynthesis. So plants obtain the energy they need from sunlight using it for their needs and to produce food for other organisms. So when we say photosynthesis, this is the conversion of light energy into chemical energy. So how important is solar energy to us? And how do plants feed? So where do plants obtain the energy and the raw materials to build plant matter? Now plants are called autotrophs because they are self-feeders. They produce their own food and sustain themselves without consuming other organisms. On earth, plants are not the only producers because other organisms such as algae, certain proteists, and some prokaryotes can also manufacture food. So what is the purpose of photosynthesis? Now photosynthesis, its purpose is to use sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into high-energy carbohydrates and oxygen. And the other one is to convert solar energy into chemical energy through photosynthesis. So this is the general equation of photosynthesis. We have water plus carbon dioxide with the help of light energy or sunlight yields glucose and oxygen gas. Okay, so what are the information we can get from discussing about photosynthesis? So, plants use water and carbon dioxide to make sugar. So, water and carbon dioxide are considered to be our reactants and sugar is the product. Plants use sugar as material for building cells and energy to run cells. Humans use sugars for food, shelter, energy, clothing, medicine. So, we need to know the location of the photosynthesis. So, most photosynthesis occurs in the leaves, which are the main organs for photosynthesis. Now, we have the stomata found at the underside of the leaf blade allow raw materials for photosynthesis such as carbon dioxide to pass through and to allow oxygen which is a waste product to exit the leaf so photosynthesis occurs in the leaves of green plants especially this occurs in the specific cells in the middle layer of the leaf and occurs in organelles called the chloroplast so chloroplast are the organelles specialized for photosynthesis a chloroplast has two membranes. We have the outer membrane and we have the inner membrane. So a chloroplast has two membranes surrounding the liquid in its interior called the stroma. Inside the inner membrane are a series of flattened interconnected sacs that looks like pancakes stacked up on top of each other called the granum. Each of those flattened sacs is called the thylakoid. So every flattened sac is known to be the thylakoid. And sets or stacks of pancakes, okay, piled up together, is known as granum. And granum or grana is the plural term of granum. So it is in the thylakoid. It is in the thylakoid where the light trapping molecules are located. Okay, because these molecules are located in the thylakoid membrane, the light-dependent reaction of photosynthesis occurs here, while the light-independent reaction takes place in the stroma. So in the chloroplast of photosynthetic organisms, the energy of sunlight is transformed into the energy 
stored in chemical bonds of carbohydrates known as glucose. So we have two reactions in photosynthesis. We have the light-dependent reactions, convert light energy and the splitting of water to chemical energy in the release of hydrogen and oxygen. Light-independent reactions use the energy from the light-dependent reaction to convert carbon dioxide to sugar. So let's start with a discussion about the light-dependent stage of photosynthesis. So the light-dependent stage of the photosynthesis occurs in the thylakoid membrane. Now again, it is in the thylakoid membrane because the light-trapping molecules are located in the thylakoid membrane. So we have photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 found in the thylakoid membrane. Photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. So both molecules capture solar energy to energize electrons. These photosystems work in conjunction. Now, photosystem 2 functions first in the steps that make up the light reaction. Now, sunlight, okay, sunlight excites special pigments called the chlorophyll, releasing energized electrons. Now, the photosystem transfer the energized electron to the electron transport chain. Now, electrons in the photosystem 2 that were shuttled to photosystem 1 provide energy to make ATP. A chemical band or a chemical called NADP or it is known as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate picks up two hydrogen molecules or two hydrogen atoms from water molecule to form NADPH. And NADPH is considered to be a powerful reducing agent for converting carbon dioxide glucose in the next phase of photosynthesis. Now, electrons from the photosystem 1 reduce the coenzyme NADP plus to NADPH. And photosystem 2 regains electrons by splitting water and releasing oxygen. So the byproduct of the light-dependent reaction is the oxygen gas, which is considered to be a waste material or a waste molecule in the reaction. So to summarize the light-dependent reactions, it is also known as the light reaction or the photochemical reaction occurs in the thylakoid membrane because it is in the thylakoid membrane are the um, photosynthetic or light-trapping molecules located. Sunlight is absorbed by chlorophyll pigments in photosystems located in the thylakoid membranes inside the chloroplast. Water is split into uh, two electrons, two hydrogen ions, and one molecule of oxygen, two at photosystem two. Electrons move through electron transport chain from photosystem two to photosystem one. Energy from this electron transport hydrogen ion from stroma to thylakoid space. Pigments in photosystem one use energy from light to convert NADP to NADPH. And ATP is produced from ADP using the energy in a difference between the sides of the membrane. Now, ATP synthase is the enzyme that converts ADP to ATP. For the light independent stage or Calvin cycle, check for the next video.